Hello, this is Amy with AC Ashworth & Company, and today I'm going to show you how to add fullness to a straight skirt with very little or no dark control. This particular skirt has less than an eighth of an inch of dart. I cannot just simply transfer that to the hemline and have enough ease that this skirt needs uh, to be able to walk and move around without a slit in this often the case with a child skirt, which this is, or an adult sloper skirt where there's very little difference between the hip and the waistline and therefore the dart is very small. What we want to do is to add more fullness than what this uh, skirt already has natively in its design. So to start, you're going to start how you ordinarily would if you're transferring dart control. We're going to slash through the center of the dart and intersect with the hem. If you're doing this on paper, slash through the hemline and leave a pivot point at the waist. And then manually pull out and pivot the amount of ease and fullness that you want to add into the hemline. On CAD, we're going to use a slash pivot feature. So we're going to pivot it at this point here, the side seam at waist, and the ending pivot point is uh, at the hemline at the slash. Then we're going to select the lines that we want to move, which are these lines here that are in red and I want to add two inches of fullness and it's going to be in a counterclockwise direction. The pivot's going that way. And then all we do is just hit apply and it pivots it out. It's as simple as taking an arc and redrawing this line. I'm going to erase the lines there with the dark control. You can sew it or ignore it doesn't really matter. Your grain line can be on the bias or it can be straight parallel with the back center seam where it was. The same situation would happen with the front which is cut on the fold. We would do the same thing. If you don't have a dart at all, you can choose where you want your fullness to uh, intersect from. Generally about um, four inches or so from the center. Intersect with the hemline. Use the design slash and pivot. We can pivot up here. If you pivot lower, your flare would begin at a lower place. Using the pivot here, we do add a lot of fullness to the hip. Just to bear that in mind, uh, concerning your style. Again, I'm going to add two inches and move in a clockwise direction. Take an arc, redraw, and there you have it. This is how you would add fullness to a skirt with little or no dark control. I know you may have a method that you enjoy using. Please share it with us in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.